Hello, in this video we're going to have a quick look at floating point numbers and what they are um, before we move on to how to actually represent binary uh, fractions using floating point method on a computer. So um, computers represent numbers with fractions in floating point format. Um, sometimes you might see numbers called float or floating point um, and these are numbers um, with fractions and that's the way that computers represent them as floats. So the decimal point in a floating point number is not in a fixed position so that's why it's called a floating point because that decimal point uh, can move around it's not in a fixed position. Floating point numbers are sometimes referred to as real numbers and sometimes you might see single precision or double precision floating point numbers and those are two different things so we'll have a look at a little bit later. So there's an infinite amount of floating point numbers and um, because of the limitations of RAM and hard drive space available on a computer, computers can't actually store or manipulate an, an infinite amount of numbers or an infinite um, number of floating point values. So they're restricted by the amount of RAM and hard drive space available and um, therefore we need to work out a way of uh, representing these numbers in the best way possible um, with as much precision as possible. So there's a format called the IEEE 754 uh, standard and IEEE stands for the Institute of Electronics and Electrical Engineers and the IEEE 74, 754 standard is able to store lots of really small numbers and lots of really large numbers and basically round numbers that can't be stored to the nearest numbers it can be. So round them to the nearest numbers it can be, those numbers that can't be stored. So IEEE 754, it's a set of rules that modern computers follow when they're working with floating point numbers. And the standard um, includes rules for how numbers are represented, handling NAN or not a number, and how to handle infinity, as well as rounding numbers and handling errors. So we can store very large and very small numbers by slightly reducing precision. So floating point uh, numbers, they aren't perfect, but they're pretty good. So with IEEE 754, numbers are stored in scientific notation. Uh, but remember that computers don't use the base 10 or decimal number system. They use base two or binary, which is zeros and ones. So for example, in scientific notation, 0 0.075 times 10 to the 3 is equal to 75. Okay, that's the base 10 decimal system. In binary, 1.001011 times 2 to the 6 is equal to 75. So basically, if you've looked at the video on um, fixed point, you'll be able to read this number. If you haven't, then go back to fixed point representation, watch that video. But um, basically, that binary number is 1 plus 0 0.125 plus 0 0.03125 plus 0 0.015625 times by 2 to the 6, which is equal to 75 in decimal. So um, notice there that the base is 2 because it's a binary number. With the first um, number there, it's the base is 10. It's a decimal number. So there's a whole part. There's a fractional part and it's multiplied by a power to the base. And in binary, the base is two. So scientific numbers are actually pretty uh, easy to read. And there are four components. There's the sine, the mantissa, or significant. There's the base and the exponent, or the power. So uh, there's two examples here. The one on the left is decimal or base 10, and the one on the right is binary, or um, base 2, and these are the two examples from the previous screen, but I've shown them uh, in different colors, so you can see where the sign, the mantissa, the base, and the exponent are. So with the decimal number on the left, the sign is the positive sign there. Um, if it was a negative number, then you'd see a negative sign. So for, for a positive number, we don't actually need to show that, show that plus sign, but it's just there to show where the sign is. So we have the sign, which is in red. The mantissa is shown there in blue. Uh, the base, which is 10 for decimal numbers, is shown there in green. And the exponent, or the power, is shown in purple. 
And on the right hand side, we've got a binary number there, um, which is 1.001011. That's the mantissa. Um, the sign comes before it in red, you can see. And then it's multiplied by the base, which is 2, to um, the power there, with this, the exponent of the power there, which is 6. Okay, so floating point numbers are stored in three parts. There's a sign, the exponent, and the mantissa. The sign is one bit, it can be a zero or a one. A zero means it's a positive number and a one means it's a negative number. Uh, there's the exponent, which takes up eight bits, and the mantissa takes up 23 bits. So that makes 32 uh, bits for a single precision float. A double precision floating point number has 64 bits. And so on the left hand side, the first bit is the most significant bit. And on the right hand side, we have the least significant bit. So the most significant bit is um, basically if that digit changes, it's going to have the most significant effect on the number. But if the last digit changes on the far right, then it's going to have the least amount of impact on the number. It's uh, going to change it the least amount. So that is basically how um, floating point works. So now go ahead and watch the video on how to represent floating point numbers in binary um, using the IEEE 754 standard um, and have a look at how to represent um, binary fractions using 32-bit using single precision floating point. Thanks for watching.